Kansas State, Pittsburgh, Ball State, all stops along the way for Mike O'Brien, and then came Toledo, and that was in 2001. Fast forward to today and the major announcement involving the Rockets' longtime athletic director. 13 ABC's Lee Conklin live with the story, live from his living room again. Lee. <laughs> Yeah, Diane, another night in quarantine. We're feeling good. Can't wait to get back to the studio with you and Jay. Now, it's uh, safe to say pretty rare when someone announces a contract extension and a retirement in one fell swoop. But that's the case for UT's Mike O'Brien. His last day with the Rockets, April 30th of next year. 20 years of exhilarating victories, heart-wrenching losses, and numerous coaching hires. Mike O'Brien reflecting on it all today. Did you cry today? Yes, I did. It, it's been a tough day. I came in today and I said, you know, I'm fine. I'm going to get through this okay. And then uh, met some staff uh, that I always meet on Thursdays and, and tried to get through it. I couldn't. O'Brien's contract was set to expire this July, but he gets a contract extension that runs through April of next year, coinciding with his seat on the men's NCAA Tournament Basketball Selection Committee. So what drew him here to Toledo two decades ago? We fell in love with the place, uh, the university and the community, Northwest Ohio, and, and said, you know, as long as they keep me, let's make this run. O'Brien presiding over one of the most successful athletic programs in the MAC. 11 bowl appearances, four NITs in men's basketball, an NCAA tourney appearance for the women, and an unforgettable WNIT title. I've never seen anything like it. I would go downstairs, and this was before we had all this technology in the ticket office, People waited in line for like three hours. And now, with the men on top of the MAC and rolling, could this finally be the year? And uh, we'll see how this plays out. We don't talk about it here. Um, but we know, we, we know uh, the last banner was, was hung in 1980. We get all that. Brian has faced some controversy, a point-shaving scandal that rocked the university. And in 2008, he hired Gene Cross to guide men's basketball. Those teams went 11-53 and 53 over two seasons. And sometimes you have to go with your gut. And sometimes your gut says you did well, and other times you didn't. And the one thing that we've always been able to try to get through difficult times is that we faced it head on, uh, very transparent, very open, and very honest. And uh, we move on to the next day. The next days and next years brought impressive facilities upgrades and significant improvements in the classroom. And now the future of UT athletics post Mike O'Brien? I think it's in very good hands, and, and I say that not because of me, but because of the department, because of the staff. These people are so committed to their jobs. Hmm. Cancer survivor for over a decade, Mike O'Brien sharing with me today that the challenges of guiding a Division I uh, program through a pand pandemic, during a pandemic, uh, really had no bearing, Diane, on his decision to retire next year. Father Time did. Reporting live, Lee Conklin, 13 ABC Action News. Back to you, Diane.